<sighs> Hello everybody, my name is VSDA100 and welcome to my vlogging series where I talk about gaming news, gaming topics, anime, film and what's ever happening in the industry. Please check out my other content if you wish. Now the name of this uh, video is entitled Anime Cost. Basically, how much does it cost to make an anime? Now, as a long-term fan, I um, never really thought about this to a point. If anything, I just want season two to come out or what have you, you know what I mean? And assume they made profit all day long. Now, this... Um, this relates to an article that I am going to read. It's relatively short, uh, which is a good thing, obviously. Although it's a far cry from the supersized budgets of Hollywood, the anime industry is a labor-intensive and expensive field. Like other entertainment ventures, any anime production has to ensure that its budget matches its expected earnings. Well, that makes sense. I'm going to get back to that in a little bit. According to Masamune Sakihi, a CG creator in the anime industry, an average 13-episode anime... 13 episodes ain't very long... Uh, cost around 250 million yen, or in the US, $2 million. He also made it clear that most anime cannot recoup this expense, and the industry rests on the windfall of a few big hits. Well, um, if I stop right there for a second and just think about that, um, if it cannot recoup the expenses in inferior, well, you would say, well, why even bother fucking making it? Uh, you, can, you must have... Um, uh, money to spare. If you can throw two million dollars in an, uh, an anime series, um, and, and you know, live, you know, you're not just emptying your pockets, giving them everything you have here. Uh, so I don't really understand. If they cannot recoup it, then in theory, what's the point? As I said, been even making it, fan pressure, or you know, what? Well, again, it, it, if you were barely recouping it, then why not just lower the budget even more and make a shitter anime or, or a less quality anime? I, I don't know. Anyway. Um, in July, uh, an interview, Taku Nakutani, producer of Shibaku itself, an anime about pr anime production, I haven't seen it, that'd be interesting to watch, claimed that it's his show cost 500 million yen or 4 million dollars for 24 episodes. In order to make it sell, he had to advertise it, plan events, and make merchandise. Well, I'm sorry, but that's pretty much anything standard to a point. In a, in a market that's oversaturated, uh, of anime and, and cartoon characters, or, you know, I mean, I'll be honest, I, I don't like using the word cartoon, but it, it, it's not Hollywood, it's not a film where it's a movie, and it comes out, and it's and it's the only one out there, it's it's going to be competing with everything else, and in, in, in a saturated market with slice of life, horror, sci-fi, etc, etc, you're going to have to market it and be Produ productive shape, this is what I have, and this is, this is how different it is, this is how cool it is, interested in going and seeing it, you're going to have to set yourself apart from, fr from, the, um, fr from the rest of the group. Uh, for example, I look to my right, I have a few of the absolute best in, in, in certain things in anime, so for example, sci-fi, I have Ghost in the Shell, very well known, very well loved and popular uh, in, in terms of slice of life or relationships, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't have a lot of those, but Toradora, in my view, being the best. I have School Rumble as well, but that, for example, drags on forever. Never, never really get, goes anywhere. Where Toradora, for example, has character development. So, you, again, with that, I would say you have to set yourself apart. So, and merchandising is a good thing. I personally won't be walking around with a Toradora backpack. I'm not a schoolgirl or a little kid, but again, you know, this is that's what you have to do. So that's that's part of, of, of the way you got to play with anime. It's no film. You can't just release it and then people, you know what I mean? You, it's, it's a plan events about it. Yeah, of course you do. Um, uh, Shinju Takamatsu, a veteran animator, cited that a figure of 150 to 200 million yen, or 1.2, 1.6 million dollars, expected to, he wanted to make that profit on on whatever anime he was promoting. Uh, he says expecting to make that up through disc sales alone is a hopeless business model, but that's how almost all late night anime are. He so he writes. Uh, in, if, these, uh, sound, if these sound like staggering figures, keep in mind that they are comparable to the most American deep cable shows. Uh, as for the hardworking animators, average pay is a mere $27,000 a year. Hmm. $27,000. I bet you most people in general on average wages ain't even on that. But I'm not even going to get into that aspect of it. I, I don't know too much information about it, but they've cited that an animator makes $27,000 a year. Meh. I don't really give a shit. I'm not even going to touch that. I'm going to uh, spend a bit. Okay, so this space through sales alone, hopeless business model. This space through. Huh? 
so basically what he's saying is if if you've got let's switch back to the uh, camera here it's driving me nuts now if you switch back to now if um so disk space cells he's saying that he cannot recoup his anime um investment through disk space cells alone so he has to do other things like merchandising etc etc now in japan it's a bigger market very specialized in anime, probably anime shops. I think there's that big that big road. I don't know where it is. It's it's all full of anime shit. You know what I mean? But again, you are competing with other animes. It's not it's not black and white. It's a muddy trail because you're competing with everyone and everything else. And as I said before, you have to stand out or compete. Now, if I could say, well, this will make them uh, work a lot harder. But having said that, as an anime fan, and this is what makes me laugh a little bit. Okay, so he says you can't get through just sales. Well, obviously, well, realistically, you make an anime series, it's going to go on TV. You're going to get X amount of views. It's either good or bad or shit or canned or brilliant, whatever, a masterpiece, or, but no one watches it. Um, but then, so you get an X amount of money from that. Okay. So you, you disc-based disc sales, you then go into Japan and people buy it. Not everyone watches it. A lot of people watch it online. A lot of people are guilty of that who are watching this video. I've watched I've started to do that, I'll be honest with you. Um, but then I'm going to get into saying a little bit different from that. But I'm going to go in a little bit deeper into that. So um, so as an anime... Now, he, now, this is what I want to say, actually. As an anime fan overseas, I am very frustrated, and I've mentioned this in other videos, about you, um, they're not porting the anime fast enough. So it goes to uh, Funimation or America, whatever, I, and then they, they, they dub it. I don't know how long that takes, but that is a bitch. So it's sitting there. It is sitting in America, people buying it. I admit it's a very niche um, area to be in. Not everyone loves anime. Okay, that's cool. I, I respect that. But having said that, if I'm sitting here in the, in the UK and it's already dubbed in America, I would then say, I don't know how the, the margins work between Funimation, I don't know Funimation uh, buy it from, um, or just give a license, I think they just give a license and then dub it and then they pull it over, I'm not sure if they get like 70% of, of the money of Japan or wherever does it and then, you know, or they just get like, what, 10% of anything they make on it, I'm not too sure how, how that works. But even I'm sitting here with free money basically, and I see one. A perfect example of this would be um, Future Diary. I'm sitting here. I'm I'm seeing that on uh, anime, and I'm, I watched two episodes of it dubbed on a website like um, NarutoWire.com, for example. And I'm like, oh, this is brilliant. I really want to watch the rest of this. It's fantastic. Oh, it's 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 being dubbed slowly but surely, but it's in the USA only, fully dubbed or whatever it is. I I don't know. I can't remember. I know it's out there. I believe. And uh, it won't come to the UK. I think this was dubbed in like 2012, 13, I believe. And it has now just got a release date in the UK three years down the line. Here I am sitting here with money, you know, sitting here. Again, I know it's niche, a niche area, the, the branching, but I'm sitting here with money and I cannot get it. Even though it's already dubbed in the USA, it should be ported over here. So that's a few tips that I would have for the um, for these industry. If they're complaining about money, I'm sitting here with money wanting to give them it and they're not taking it because they're fucking slow. That's on that's their own fault on their own part. Here is a few tips for the industry that I would like to see happen and um, feel free if you, to disagree with me or add some of your own, I don't know. So I have um, um, I'm, I'm a few tips. So pull anime to the USA faster and to be dubbed. And also um, get the USA companies uh, after dubbing change the disc code or whatever they're doing to send them over to Europe faster. That way it stays current, it's in my mind, I'm not waiting forever, and you can have my money a lot quicker. Stop selling us four episodes for £20. As an anime fan, I'm, not, I'm sick and tired of spending £20 on an anime series and getting fucked over. When I don't like the anime in four episodes, I'm spending £20. It's too much for too little. No wonder people go to the um, online and check that out. Uh, stop selling us half a box set. Uh, for £25, £30, uh, release the whole fucking thing on one box set and just charge me 60 That way, I'm, I'm, I'm being charged 60 anyway over two parts, and I don't want to wait three to six months apart to get part one and part two. Attack on Titan did this with uh, 20 episodes or whatever it was, uh, and then, you know, the other 20, or whatever the fuck they did. I, I don't even know. Was it 13 episodes? I'm not even sure. Haven't seen the whole anime series. But they did with multiple anime series, and it really pisses me off. Uh, Full Alchemist, Full Metal Alchemist being one of them, Etc. Etc. Uh, 
and this is another point, release both of them on Blue, um, DVD and Blu-ray at the same time. Give me that opportunity to upgrade, um, uh, to, to make that choice, to have high quality. I personally go for Blu-ray anyway. I had to wait, uh, about, they had it on DVD, uh, two or three years, and the Orphan Lead came out finally on Blu-ray like one month ago here in the UK. Uh, now I've got Elf Indeed on DVD, now I've bought that, now when I upgrade to a Blu-ray version, yes it's my own choice and opinion, but if I had the option of DVD and Blu-ray at the same time, I would have bought Blu-ray and forgot about it. Uh, I did tweet a certain company based on this, and then they've said to me, based on the anime being released on DVD, if there was enough sales warrant to have it on DVD, they would then port it to Blu-ray. So what, I have to buy an anime fucking series like twice? Once on DVD, oh, it's very popular, let's release it on Blu-ray, and then I've got to go and buy it on Blu-ray. That's fucking ridiculous, retarded, and not, and not right. Now, th at least in recent weeks or months, they have gotten better, releasing it both on Blu-ray and DVD. So, uh, I, I, that, that is an ongoing issue, though, but I wish they would do that more often, and, you know, just, just make it so. Okay, so here's, here's another uh, a big problem that I'm... Uh, basically, it relates to you, the anime fan, and this is r reality of touching what I said. Yes, I know you watch your animes on uh, Netflix and, uh, you know, NaruaWire.com, etc., etc. But getting back to this uh, is, a, is about you, fundamentally. If they are struggling... Uh, now, I know you don't want to get screwed over with watching a shit anime. And that's fine, not, you know, and not everyone has the money, so watching them free isn't a problem, it makes a lot of sense, it's consumer, and, 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 and being smart as a consumer, or, or customer, whatever you want to say. But I would say to you, and I, I do this myself, is support the anime you love. So if you watch an anime, and you like it enough, and it's good enough, then go ahead and buy it. Uh, that's my opinion. I mean, of course, you might like a load of anime. Well, obviously not every anime is out, or buy one once a month. That's my advice to uh, anyone. You know, so yeah, watch them on Netflix. Buy the anime you love, and not, not all of them uh, are going to be fantastic. Obviously, like any film, you don't see me buying every fucking love film or whatever film I might be into. You know what I mean? Every horror film, it ain't going to work that way. Um, also, you know, if you are going to buy anime, etc., to support the, the companies you love, or the uh, the anime you love, or the directors, or you know, the, the, the people that make specific mangas, you know, shop, you don't have to be expensive as well. Shop around, find them cheaper. If you, you know, uh, uh, for example, Amazon, I check all the time, uh, but of course, Zabby, you know, and, uh, what particular shops I go to, Zabby and uh, Play.com, I think it still exists, um, in the UK anyway, or Europe, you know, I shop around and I get them cheaper, or might be 40 on Amazon, I've seen anime for 25 elsewhere, so I've cut that price in half, you don't have to spend a fortune, just be smart about it. Um, if you like them subbed or the Japanese versions, which a lot of people do, and I understand that, then buy them from Japan, or buy them wherever, I don't know. I don't know how much the cost is going to implement you. But that's my advice to the, um, to the industry and to you as anime fans. Support the anime you love, and, uh, you know, to, to, to the companies out there, whether it be America or Japan, optimize, you know, and come to support them to Europe, because there's free money sitting here to wait. You've done the work, now all you've just got to do is deliver it on the doorstep after being dubbed, and I'm willing to pay, uh, along with a lot of other anime fans. Anyway, guys, that's about it for this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as a question of the day, or, or you know, to, 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 I want your opinion here. What could the anime industry do to better support itself in terms of, you know, what, what other things could be better to, to, to give them, you know, uh, more money in the industry in terms of porting it to us? Uh, is there anything else you would like to see specifically done? Um, you know, to help to, to support themselves, or oh, I'm trying to find the, the word here. I can't think of it right now, but you know what I mean? Anything that I may have missed out that you think would improve, uh, you know, us uh, having accessibility to anime or any little improvements they could do, like um, special box art, special edition metal casing, whatever, why would, you know, you uh, go out and buy a particular anime as well, uh, maybe you can put that in the comment section below. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Uh, thanks for watching.